As the man accused of killing a Spencer County teenager waits for his next court appearance, family and friends mourn their loss. Joseph Petrie faces a murder charge for his role in last night's shooting in Rockport. He's accused of killing 18-year-old Zane Lee. He was a student at South Spencer High School. Eyewitness News' Mike Pickett is live outside the high school with the latest. Mike. Uh, Principal uh, Jim Bush tells us that uh, people started finding out about what happened to Lee uh, last night. And when everybody got back to school uh, earlier this morning, it was more of a somber mood here. And meanwhile, uh, Indiana State Police detectives are still tr talking with people and still trying to figure out uh, what happened before the shooting and how Lee and Petrie knew each other. Young man, and uh, he's going to be sorely missed here at the high school. Bush says um, he started hearing about what happened to Lee from other teachers. A lot of people heard it over the scanner, so then, you know, social media started out, and so, you know, I received a few texts from, you know, um, the teachers and the, and the faculty and staff that worked here. When classes resumed this morning, you could tell that the kids were upset. Sergeant David Henderson says people heard at least two shots around 8:30 last night near the intersection of 8th and Seminary Street. Authorities tried life-saving measures when they arrived. Petrie was taken into custody at the scene. Sergeant Henderson says detectives still want answers on what happened before the shooting. The detective just start doing background on um, any kind of relationship or how this came about and how and why this came about and um, why it took such a tragic turn. He also says Petrie faces one count of murder so far. Counselors were at the high school to help students. Bush says he offered Lee's family help. I spoke to Zane's brother this morning, um, and you know he'd called in for mom. You know, obviously mom very upset, and so I, I talked to him for you know a few minutes this morning, and just you know gave our condolences. And uh, but Bush also tells us that uh, some of the teachers uh, that talked with some of their students about what happened last night, and they talked with them uh, during the first classes earlier this morning. Live in Spencer County, Mike Pickett, Eyewitness News.